Um, but I thought today was a, a, a game where, you know, down the stretch four minutes ago, you know, I think we're in striking distance. And then we don't finish or close the game the way that we need to. And I have to give Tennessee credit. You know, they went out and um, they made some shots. Um, they, they got some stops. You know, we, we, we turned the ball over far too much. We knew defensively they were going to come in and pressure us. And uh, we didn't handle that pressure well. And um, to only have seven assists means for us the ball didn't move the way it moved in the last five games or six games that we played. So we have to do a better job of moving the ball and driving to pass. Um, there were too many times we got in there and uh, committed charging fouls because you know we weren't thinking drive to pass. And um, you know for us we like to get paint touches and we only got 14 second half paint touches, which is not nearly enough to be uh, effective as we want to be. But you know give Tennessee credit. You know, they made plays and did some good things uh, to prevent us from being as successful as we want it to be offensively. Um, I do think we rebounded the ball pretty well, though. We had 13 offensive rebounds and uh, 35 for the game. Questions? Danny, uh, Bryant had 3.7 turnovers. Did, was that a matter of the pressure? Did he start, did you see him start pressing? Um, he had a bad game. You know, he had a bad game, and um, you know, you have to give credit to the Tennessee defense to a certain ex extent, but also um, he's just got to play better. Danny, when you had it at 66-60, did you think you were in a good situation there? Not a good situation, but you know, like I said, I thought we were in striking distance. Um, needed to get some stops, create some deflections. Um, you know, a couple of long rebounds did us in um, on a few of those possessions. Um, but you know, I thought when it was a six-point difference, we were in striking distance, and we just had to uh, grind it out, if you will. We weren't able to do that. It seemed like you were content to try to uh, extend your hours minutes a little bit in the first half. He was in there for 12, but the first 14 minutes until he picked up his second foul. Did, were you hoping that he, he, would, he would be able to use him a lot more as a rim protector and a rebounder? Well, that's always um, the thought process with him. You know, he's um, up until this game, I mean, he was averaging two blocks a game. Um, he had one today. Um, but there were far too many times that um, we, we gave up straight line drives. We did that a few times in our zone and in man to man, and it's hard to rotate over from a straight line drive. Um, so, but you know, yeah, we wanted to play him more. I played him a little bit more, even when he was, I thought he was in foul trouble. We went back to the zone some, and um, you know, we couldn't locate players the way we needed to. That's why we came out of. striking distance then not finding a way over the last four and a half minutes to, to score and make it closer. You guys have been able to do that the last six games. So what was different about today other than, I guess, Tennessee's defense? Well, I mean, you have to give Tennessee's defense credit, you know, no doubt about it. But, you know, I do think we, we, uh, we missed some shots that we normally make. Um, you know, our bench comes up with 34 points. And, um, you know, we didn't get the normal production that we get from our, from our starting group this game. You know, so um, we've we got to find a way to continue to be effective within the flow of our offense. And I think it starts with ball movement and player movement. And that's something that we'll continue to work on. Danny, was there a missed opportunity um, with their foul trouble that you maybe didn't really get to take advantage of that you would like to work um, to a certain extent, um, but we were in foul trouble too, <laughs> you know. Um, so, but you know, I thought it, you know, early in the game, you know, we got into the bonus and, and, and we settled instead of putting pressure on them and, and making them call a foul. Um, you know, we, we didn't do that enough in terms of getting paint touches and, and trying to drive the ball downhill. Coach, what, what do you think you got today out of Olivier? And do you think, uh, how do you feel his game is progressing? Um, he's getting better each day. Um, you know, I thought 
without question, he was our best rebounder today. And this is the best he's rebounded since he's been here. Um, and, you know, he knock, knocks down, you know, a couple free throws and then hits a three and had a block shot. So I think um, each game, you know, he looks a little bit more comfortable out on the court. And, um, you know, we need him to continue to take those steps and get better. Coach, uh, where do you think you're at heading into league play? Well, obviously, you'd like to be in a better spot than what our record is, seven and five right now. Um, but you know, we've got to go back, and you know, our guys will go home for the holidays, come back, and put your hard hat on, bring your lunch pail, because we got to work. We we got to get better. We got to get back to playing the way that we played before this game, and that is being very active defensively. That is sharing the ball offensively, and um, taking care of the ball. You know, I thought tonight we came out and we tried to make too many home run type plays with our turnovers. You know, we, we, one of the last things that we talk about when we leave the locker room is make easy plays. And, uh, you know, tonight we turned it over 20 times, so we didn't make all of the easy plays that, that we should have or needed to. Anything else for Coach? Thank you. Happy holidays. Thank you. Thank you.